I, I always I always wonder though, do you, you know, for you coming up and there's there's an identity where it's like I'm like Asian or Asian American or whatever, but then there's also a queer identity. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And do you ever feel like one is not stronger, but like one is more natural for you? Because uh-huh. Joe Booster, for example, has a joke where he says he was talking about how he knew he was gay before he knew he was Asian. Right, because he's yeah. adopted. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. And then I think like listening to Las Culturistas, there's like this this amazing energy and culture that's out there. You guys like say all these th- like one funny thing you, uh, that you guys both always do is like compress words into like shorter words oh, like sure. depression is depression which yeah, is yeah. like amazing <laughs> okay sure sure you know there's like little things like that yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm trying to imagine is there an Asian American equivalent you know like you guys call each other queens I, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know what I just call Fumi Fumi that's yeah. it okay and so, so boring so Fumi so Fumi's the queen <laughs> where you know in the whole not I'm not very good at intersectionality no, but go, like go, go, when go. you talk about yeah. you know that do you ever feel like oh there's like there's like there's queer me, there's uh-huh. Asian me, uh-huh. is there queer Asian me, is there, you know what I'm saying? Like Here's the thing, I feel like with queerness, it's it's more, I can tap into like some sort of like shorthand a little bit more easily. I'm, I'm learning now to like approach the Asian stuff in a very like nuanced way that isn't, that doesn't treat like Asian-ness as this monolith where it's like, mm-hmm. cause like you go to, bu- you go to parties like Bubble Tea and you get like the full like yeah. spectrum of Asian people there. And then, and it's, it's hard to like go up to someone and like say, like call someone like, Oh, Hey, like, like Xiao Jie is like, a, like a, like whatever, like a Mandarin sort of like uh term of affection or endearment where mm-hmm. it's like, you can't, there, there hasn't been like an assigned Asian voice in, at least in a queer context yet. Okay. Mm. Huh. And I don't even know if, do you guys think that there's like an Asian American voice? I don't, I, I feel like I don't I'm, know. I don't know. I don't but know. That there I think is. we're like, always like, I think that's why we started this podcast. Yeah. Cause we're, we were trying to answer that question ourselves. And I think, you know, not, not to like say this is the exact reason why, but right. I think because there isn't like, you know, going back to like, can you do an impression of an Asian American comedian? It's I don't know. You can't, yeah. can, right? But you can do a you can do an impression of a Def Jam comedian, right? Right. Yeah. You could do an impression of a white guy comedian. Yeah. Uh, you guys like stop sides, whatever the fuck, yeah, you know, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. So there's something to be said about that. That's right. kind of interesting, right? So right. I think we started this because we're trying to like figure out what that is, and yeah, I mean, I think it, it's I think it's like really nuanced, and I don't know. I, I think we just have to like keep trying weird shit to figure out what I know. Sticks. I, I don't. I can't, I don't have an answer for that. It's really. harder because I don't know. I it's. I used to I used to feel a lot of guilt about like not like tapping into the Asian stuff as much, but now I feel like it's I'm bringing them closer together, the Asian stuff and the queer stuff. But like, I th- I do think it's just harder to like break open the Asian stuff because there hasn't been like a collectively agreed upon way to like yeah address it. Yeah, right. well, you, I don't know. But I feel like you do try it, and sometimes it gets turned down. Like I was listening <laughs> to this podcast. Uh, uh, unofficial experts, uh-huh, uh-huh. right? And he, she can, so that's a, po- a podcast by Sydney Washington Marie Foster. Yes. Very, very funny. You are a guest, and the whole premise is you have to bring in like a topic and th- that you're an expert. I want. Right? I wanted to bring in RPGs. Yes, and so they you shot, and they shot it yes, down, what? and they were like, "We don't want to fucking hear about." It. I was like, but "It was like a moment." I did like. I did call them out, and I was like, "You guys are just like that's, this is what I like, and you guys are like shutting it yeah, down." I know, but yeah. you, uh, the fact that you brought it up. Wait, are you talking about like Final Fantasy? I want to yes. talk about like Final Fantasy. You're like, you're like first and foremost, I'm a Japanese R- RPG game. <laughs> Video at game expert, and I was like, I was cracking up, and then they're like, Well, we don't know what that is. People shut it that down. Is so <laughs> interesting. This is, this is honestly something that I get like truly upset about. I'm like, Oh, like the reason I'm, the reason I haven't found a way, a way in on that is because people don't let you talk exactly. about and it. And that's what I was thinking that's about so when that happened. It's like because you would have made that funny. I would have made it fu- because I you're funny. educated people. That's what about I'm saying. It. Oh my god! And, and you did this other thing on a different episode <laughs> where you talked about how one of the characters from Dragon Quest has the hat. Yes, uh, I was tra- a foppish, a foppish fox. Fo- yeah. <laughs> I like the, oh this, these are my, these are my references. Growing up, it was literally SNL, Final Fantasy. Ah! Those are my two <laughs> fucking things. See, okay, so this is how I think you can get in, a, in like a, a certain voice because if you yeah. look at a lot of other uh, uh, groups, I feel like uh-huh. they've absorbed the things that were once identifiers as being a negative. Right, right. Like they, you know, like you, you called someone a queen in the seventies. Yeah, and then now, now we now take it's it back. like it's awesome, yeah, yeah. right? You know, like. With like black culture and and street culture, they, they there's a way that they own that aesthetic, they own that that cultural thing. Right. And I feel like Asian people, we just gotta like go back and be like, yeah, 
fucking video games, dude. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Fucking like, uh, like, like, like lowered civics. You know what? <laughs> what? You know, like, and then we just talk about it until, but you know, because you're, you're right. Like right now, it's like, oh, those things are considered like really niche, too niche. Yeah. You can't yeah. talk about them. But, but everybody know. Everybody played fucking. Final everybody Final played, played, played Final Fantasy and like fucking like. So, like now there's like a there's like streetwear trends with fucking anime shit like yeah. you get like a yeah. like a like a silk screen print of Majin Buu and you put it on a, <laughs> and you put it on a rapper and it's like wow yeah, like, yeah. and you know it's like it's so interesting like it's not too neat I, I do not think it's too niche yeah. there is there are ways of like approaching it whatever like white girls have Totoro phone cases and yeah. shit like, <laughs> like anime I mean fucking right behind us yes like, anime I'm, I'm cool. looking at Totoro yeah. like yeah. Yeah. all this like, shit is cool now you know and, and people yeah. were listening to it and we were like you know it ended for a long time I want to hear about this RPG thing okay go ahead though well I cool I think yes let's get to that but, uh-huh. I, but I think maybe that's the solution is like you take uh, one thing that's like widely accepted as American so yes. for you maybe that's like the queer culture yes, or the way yes. you talk or your, your, like, your pop culture yes, stuff yes. and you mix that shit yeah. with something very Asian but I think it's a pr- I think it, I, I don't know I, I when I first heard that I was like oh fuck is he gonna just do like 90 minutes of Final Fantasy no, jokes they didn't let me and then my <laughs> thing was travel <laughs> they were like what? <laughs> Bowen's expertise <laughs> is travel because he He's been on a 16-hour flight to Asia. I'm like, all right. <laughs> it was Whatever. really that part was cracking me up, man. But uh, anyway, yeah, dude, uh, let's get into it. Yeah, okay. let's get into, into okay, it. Okay, hold on. What were you gonna say yeah, about the episode? Okay, first of all, that which, which Final Fantasy? Uh, okay, I'm. <laughs> my number one is ten. I think ten Ooh, is just ten one. is just airtight. I mean, mm-hmm. seven is seven. obviously a masterpiece. Yes. Seven is janky as fuck, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's yeah. a j- it just not even in terms of like the localization, the translation, or like the graphics. No, the graphics were amazing for their time, but like just the the story is <laughs> just all. <laughs> over the fucking place. <laughs> there's, there's, it's just like, it's just a lurch, a weird lurch thing. Final Fantasy X, it's just so well thought out. You cannot poke holes in it, I don't think. So ten's mm. my favorite. And now I'm playing fourteen, which is like the MMO, which I think is great. It's like oh, you're lo- still playing. I'm still playing. I love that. I'm still playing. I was a nine guy. Okay, FF9. and nine was great. Nine is great. FF nine. What'd you play? One. <laughs> what? <laughs> Final Fantasy one. NES. The NES one. Bitch. The one was like was so. I never got past this one cave. <laughs> It's always the and game. Like, always and the like game. this is back in the day, like you got to play that game in one city. <laughs> in one city, no, there's no, there no is, save file. Yeah, there's there. no save file. There's a save file, but it was like this was like back in the day. Like it's amazing that they packed that fucking game yeah. into one of those. <laughs> little, <laughs> yeah, and then you're like yeah. fucking. I did this. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That it works too. It's the just, pizza toss. It's yeah. crazy that uh, yeah. So that that was what I played, and then I, I then I followed along. Like you know, what I'm saying sure, for sure, me, sure. it was I kind of like I wa- I followed along Final Fantasy. Like people watch The Bachelor. Uh, yeah, know, sure, I'm sure. Like, I'm in it. I'm kind of, but I'm not gonna spend that's too much great. time yeah, because like great. people, my friends would be bragging like, yeah, dude, I spent 80 hours on it. Like whatever uh-huh, this uh-huh. week. Yeah. And I was like, you have a fucking <laughs> disease now. Like, you know? <laughs> were you were you a gamer just at all? Like, did you play stuff? I did play, but I found that I'm much more of a of an observer. Yeah. So right, even to this day, I watch streams. I watch stuff like that because mm, I just don't have the patience. I want someone yeah. to just go like. Because there's so much in Final Fantasy in general, like RPGs. There's you get a so train. Much, there's so much, much grinding. I know. Grinding. Yeah. <laughs> just like comedy. Just grinding. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Just like, oh, I got to kill this, up. like, another fucking stupid mouse. Or you have to it's wander homework. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, you know, and then there's, like, mini games on the side and yeah. shit. And you're just like, oh. But yeah. I would just, like, watch people play. No, I'm, I'm, I think just, this is just something about us getting older. And you just have to make a conscious choice to be like, I'm going to play video games i feel like we've yeah we just have other shit going on i don't yeah. play as much as i used to right 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 yeah, right. Right. yeah. Right. anyway because okay. you have that whole theory about how in, in video games it's it's tough to play as an adult because you don't like gain anything you it's know just I mean? right it, it, it's this it's a thing that's designed to make you want to keep doing it forever yes so mm. and if you let it it will you right know? so right. we have to make you know because i don't know you, as you get older, you get busier, and you just become more acutely aware that time is so 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 important. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. do it, but um, yeah. I, I want to ask, what, what's a, what, what, How would you have opened up your RPG? <laughs> my uh, expertise. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I just, I just would have been like, I just would uh, literally, yes. It, it's what Fumi was saying, where I would, it was uh, where it's like I would have talked about like the fashions. I would have like gone yes. through. Yes. Like, oh, that's queer, the whole thing, right? Like I would have talked about like the fashions, the storylines, the women, like you know, the like. 
I would have done like the gay like analysis of it. Yeah. Oh, and that would have been, that would have been that's interesting. That's, to people. that's really I interesting. I want to hear this. Right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, like, like, you know, this per- this character wears like a, a dress made out of like just belts. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I would have talked, I would have talked about all of that and like, whatever. <laughs> but here's the, I, like, here's the thing. Like, people don't let you talk. Like, I don't talk about Asian shit on, I, I talk about it sometimes. Yeah. But like, we had like Andrew T on who hosts Yo, Is This Racist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and he, he and, he was the first, and he brought Asian pears <gasps> yeah. for us. And Matt, yeah. it was the first time my, Matt ate them. Oh my god! And he loved them. So and good. I was just like, yeah, like you don't know about this shit because like, there's no like opportunity to talk about. It. And then yeah. Andrew and I like went on and on about like you know like regionality in China and like all this stuff about Asian culture and like how like whatever. It was just like I was just like, oh, like this taps into like a part of my brain that like. Like I live this every day, and but like I never yeah. get to like yeah. air it out. You you had a really interesting when you were on a uh, Mary H K Choice podcast, yeah. and, and you had talked about how like oh you know because you're like how do I write Asian jokes without an Asian cast? The, you, right? you can't. Yeah, yeah, and so it's like yeah. again like how can you exercise that part of your brain if you don't even have an app? exactly? You know what I'm like you the can't o- make Asian pair jokes. Uh, you can't make Asian pair jokes. The only time I I don't know if I talked about this on Mary's podcast, but when Aquafina hosted, it was it was my second week there. It was the second episode of last season, and. I wrote a sketch for her where she played like, um, like a, um, oh my god, what, what's her name? Um, oh, Anime Wong. I, I like wrote her as like an Anime Wong type character, like old Hollywood actress, uh-huh. mm-hmm. where like all her movie clips. It was like a Turner Classic movies, like yeah, look yeah, back, yeah. and all her movie, cl- all her like old movie clips are of her like being like, um, like trying to like be a sex object for Jewish men. She was like. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm I'm quelling right now. Uh, like <laughs> just her as like this like Asian actress like being a sex symbol for Jewish men yeah. specifically like just playing into that stereotype. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. just it just didn't play at the table. People were like, uh, no. What? And then Nora was just like, and then later like I like Nora like the other day was like I like I was like I wish we did that sketch. I was like me too. But Dude. like there's no like it's it's hard to break through. For sure, for sure. All all the it's the, like the yeah because because like it's not all up to you either because no, if no. there's literally not an actor yeah. you know if there was a cast member you have every week to pitch something yeah right? yeah yeah um, you this can is, do it. I'm glad we're having this conversation because you know I'll be completely honest with you when I first started and I was like watching you and a little bit of Joel too yeah you know because like you said you weren't doing like that many Asian jokes and stuff um, I was just like oh like maybe it's because like you know that's not like nobody gets that and like that's not a smart thing to do industry wise and in, sure. you know, in stand up a lot of times you hear younger Asian comedians say like oh I don't do Asian jokes yeah you know? I, and yeah. it's like I don't think there's like and now I think it's different I don't shy away from it I just do whatever the fuck I want now but I there was a phase where I did think about that it's like should I just not it's weird do it's that? like it's it's ugh, it's so tough because there is this like assimilationist mindset of being like I'm gonna like on my own merit not talk about race and not yeah. address it but then it's like but then that's like a self handicap where you can't you're forbidding yourself from talking about something that you just experience every day. Yeah. I like my Asian the jokes about being Asian for me are like my kind of my favorite ones right yeah. now. At yeah. least right now. Right. But you put your like, own spin. I mean, it's like again, like, you know, we can all make stupid ass hacky jokes about like calculators or whatever. But like you have no. a joke about like meeting up with a, a gay Taiwanese businessman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And that's is that an Asian joke? I don't I, know. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Where I was <laughs> right. And then like um and I have like my, my favorite joke ever, I think, is um is me talking about going to a Chinese restaurant where I see um a cocktail on it called a, a Shanghai mule. Yeah. And I was like, I also identify as a Shanghai mule in that <laughs> I'm Chinese and I won't reproduce. Ah! <laughs> and then I'm like, I can I, I, I can only make that joke as like a gay Asian guy. Right, yeah, right. right. And right, just right, like right. like I can't like why like deprive myself of that? I don't know. For sure. But for I, sure. I I get the instinct to be like, I'm not gonna make Asian jokes. Um but also only you can make that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Are you I know you're involved in the new I don't know if you can talk about this. We can talk about the it. Yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are you a writer or an actor? I'm acting on it. Oh, you're acting I'm, on I've been shooting, okay, cool. yeah, the last... So, so that's like an Asian story. Do you yeah. feel like um, the writers are, you know, allowing you to like kind of explore that side? For and sure. And making jokes like about that community? Yeah, I think I think they are. I think um, for the most part, it stands on its own as like a very strong like family sitcom. Mm-hmm. Um, but also like, like yeah, like there's, there's a, there, there are a bunch of storylines that are specifically Asian. Like you can't like... You can't like Jerry rig like this story onto like you know another sitcom on, onto like um, the other two or something. You know, it's yeah. like it's very specific to like the dynamics between like Nora and her grandma or Nora and like I. So I'm I'm playing this um I'm playing her cousin mm-hmm. who is coming in from Silicon Valley is this like VC like piece of shit who like r- you know has his own little startups. Um, but then like he like kind of like for whatever reasons has to like move to New York and like live with the family. Right. Um, 
And you're just like, that is a pretty specific thing where it's like, not that like six, having a successful like family member is like an Asian specific, but the way that like as Asian yeah. people, we like deal with that is there. I mean, there is, there is a, there is a specificity and a universality to my yep. fancy relative who I'm always been compared to yep. is now coming and I have to deal with that. And, and that's, that's a it. very, that's all it is. Yeah, it yeah. is. <clears throat> and that's a very, it is a very Asian thing. But I mean, everybody fucking has that, right? Yeah. You always have the so you know you being compared to like your more successful sister or whatever it is. Right. But like you know, to to your point about it uh, being a very specific Asian storyline, you know, I think the only way to do it is like to get more specific. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get more into it because I I think a lot of times when people say I don't do Asian jokes, it's because we're thinking of the Asian jokes white people say. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> We're thinking of the bad drive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got, yeah, I got, yeah, I got a pause break. Yeah. I, I got, uh, you know, you're thinking of Shit. the. Yep. You're thinking of the Asian bad driver joke. Yeah. You're thinking of the small dick joke. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And those aren't good jokes for us because they're not funny. They're, they're not, not right. funny things, and they're not true. I, yeah. I, I think I talked about this last time. I don't know Asian bad drivers. I mean, I really don't. <laughs> right, like, right, you, right. you just know bad drivers. My mom is a yeah. fine driver. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My grandpa is an awesome driver. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You gotta be a good driver when there's landmines everywhere. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you got, just to be enough. So, like, you have to be good. But, like, so, I think it's like, okay, well, now I gotta bring, you know, things which are Asian to me, which is, like, you know, or, you know RPGs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah. Uh, going clubbing. You know right, what I'm saying? Because right. in those stories, those are, the, you know, you're gonna be able to find the audience will find something if you're doing it right. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, right. I know what this is like.